Hi everyone, welcome to this video Alter's hands on questions. If you like the video, do subscribe to my channel. Let's get started with the introduction. A data set is regarding TED Talks. It is received from Kaggle and I'll give the link in the description box. The highlighted columns are the ones which we will be mainly using today. So which is the main speaker, speaker occupation, film date and the number of views. Below you can see the sample data. Let me show you the CSV file which we will be using. So column A to column Q is the data which we are getting from Kaggle. Moving on to the first question. We need to convert the film date which is currently as a unique timestamp here to the date format. So this is how our film date currently looks like. We need to convert it into date. So in Excel if you want you can use this formula. Moving to Alteryx. First of all, I'll just input my data using the input tool. So all the records are visible. I'll use the formula tool here. So Unix timestamp means the time calculated from 1st of Jan 1970. And it's always in seconds. So we'll use a date time add function. We'll add a film date to this first year 1970 and we'll give the parameter seconds to add it as seconds. This browser result. So this is how we are getting it. So same as we got in our Excel file. Moving to the next question. We need to show the most viewed authors each year and we need to show it in a table. Here column is not here and here if we see fourth question we need the month as well which is also not there. So we'll create those columns first. In Excel you can create the year like this manner and month using the month function. In Alteris we'll use again a formula. For year, we'll use the date time year function. For month ID, we'll use the date time month function. So this ID is going to give us 1 to 12 values. For month name, which we will need for showing it in the table or graph, we'll use the date time format. We'll pass our film date using the date time pass function, which is in the format year, month, day. And we'll extract the capital, which is a full month. To get more idea about the date time function in Alteris, you can follow this help desk. Capital B here means full month name. Uh, question marks to get the most viewed authors each year. Let's continue with that. First, I'll use a short to short our views in descending order. Next, I'll use a sample to get the first row for each. And since this is year wise, I'll group it by year. I have again used a short to short it in descending order to get the descending year at the top. Then I have used this table from the reporting tool. I have kept all the columns which were there in the previous one. In the default table formats, I've just used the text color to white and background to blue. Let's see our output. So we see for 2017, Elon Musk has the highest views. We can validate that in our Excel. So I have a pivot table created here using the rows and values, the sum of views. Here I can see Elon Musk has the highest for 2017. Moving to the next question is to rank the five most popular speakers on the basis of the talks and show it in a table. Alteris doesn't give us a default rank function, although it should give. So we'll use a different technique for that. All the data I'll be using from here, whatever data I got here, I'll use an input to the other questions. I'll use the, use the summarize first to count the speakers as well as to group it by the speaker. Next would be to display this count in descending order. 
then I'll assign a rank using the filter, sorry, formula tool. I'll give a rank of one to every row. This is how my data is going to look like. Next is to create a running total on the rank column itself. So now we get for Hans Rosling, the count was nine and she has a rank of one, which is a running total rank. For Joanne, it is two. So the running total we will be using as a rank now. To get the top five, we'll sample it where n is equal to five. Again, the table, I'm just unselecting this rank because this doesn't make any sense. It will be one for everyone. Table settings, I'll keep same as my previous question. Okay, so let's see. First rank is for Hans, second is Juan, third is Reeves. Let's validate in our Excel. Okay, so again, yeah, we have Jan, Hans as the maximum speaker. So it will be given rank automatically once Juan is at the second rank. Then there's a tie between the other two, which we can see here as well for the third rank. Moving to the next question, we need to show the month by stocks frequency and we'll show it using chart which will be ordered from Jan to December. For that, first we'll take our input from here which we are using from the previous question. We'll use the summarize. Here we'll count all the speakers, we'll group it by month. Okay, I'll group it with month name as well because this month name I need as an input to show in my chart. That's why I'm using month name as well. I'll use the short to short the month ID. Okay, this is the numeric number in ascending order. To display, I'm using a line chart. I'll configure the interactive chart from the reporting tool. Here, the type I have selected is line. Month name is in X axis and the count is in Y axis. Okay, so from the graph, we can see for the month of Feb, it was something around yeah, 601. Let's validate in our Excel. For month wise, okay, we see for the month two, which is Feb, we see 601. Okay, so this is done. Moving on to the R. Next question, we need to display the speakers who have performed for three consecutive years. First, let's move to my Excel to show what logic we are going to use. This is the pivot table. Let's take an example of Brian. He has performed in 2008, 9 and 10, which is a consecutive years, right? For that, first of all, if you see the row, which is 8, 9, 10, we'll get the row minus 1 value and row plus 1 values. Okay, so for 2019, the row minus 1 is 2008 and row plus 1 is 2010. Okay, so that's what if the difference from the row minus 1 is equal to 1 and from the row plus 1 is minus 1, then it's a consecutive year. This logic we'll be using in all tricks. So moving on, we need to use a multi row formula tool here. I'll create a new field which is consecutive which is a string type which will have the value yes or no i need to group it based on the main speaker here for the expression since i here which we created was a string i use a two number function to convert it into integer now so if the year minus the year minus one with the previous row is equal to one and the year minus the year preceding, okay, and then the next one is equal to minus one, then it's a consecutive, otherwise it's not. Next would be to use a simple basic filter to filter out the yes values. Then I'll just show it here. For that, I'm just using the main speaker, the year and whether it is consecutive or not. Okay, so this is how we are getting. We have a Brian for 2019. It is a consecutive year. We see Jua, Julian three times. Okay, for 2010, 11, 12. Let's check that part. So we see for 2010, it was 9 and 12. So it was consecutive. Again, for 11, it was 10 and 12. So it was consecutive. And again, similarly for 12, it was 
11 and 13. There three times the name is coming up. Moving on to our last question, which is to display the list of social entrepreneurs, entrepreneur speakers. For that, we'll have to use the regex. I'll pass the speaker's occupation. For output, I'm using the match and I'm storing it in a column, columns, columns, comments, matched or not. Here, I'm using a dot and asterisk. So if you see dot is for any single character, asterisk is for zero or more characters. Then if it's a social entrepreneur, again, similarly at the end, I'm using the dot and the asterisk. I'll use a basic filter to filter only the yes rows. And again for our table, I'll use the speaker, the speaker's occupation and whether it was a matched or not. So this is how our output looks like. If we try to validate in Excel, we have total 14 speakers who have social plus some extra columns extra values okay so let's see that here see the count here of true here also we're getting 14 records so yeah this answer is correct for us thank you for watching